Hello there, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Things are really lively today at Gecko's Garage. The mechanicals are decorating the tree. That's Blue's Christmas present from all of us. A brand new stove. He's loving learning to cook on it. And I'm just finishing Baby Truck's winter checkup. There you go, Baby Truck. All good. Oh no! We're snowed in! It's no use, Mechanicals. It would take until New Year's for us to dig ourselves out that way. We'll need to think of something else. I have an idea. Mummy Truck, we're going to need your help. Blue, I'm sorry. We're going to need your new stove. It's the most important bit of the design. I promise I'll take good care of it and bring it back safe and sound. Is that okay? Okay, Mechanicals, fire her up. Hooray! It works! Now that we're all freed, it's time to help some vehicles in need. Great work, team! Nice work, Mummy Truck! You're a real winter hero! There you go, Blue. Just like I promised. Not a scratch. Thank you so much for letting us borrow it. Merry Christmas to you too, Blue. Merry Christmas, everyone. To see you again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone. It's nearly Christmas Day. But Santa's elves are sick and can't finish making the last few toys for Santa to deliver. He needs our help to make them. Santa's sent us this gift that he says will be useful. Wow! It's a new truck wash controller. And it has three new buttons on it. I wonder what they do. Let's go outside and find out. Let's start with button number one. Can you find button number one? That's right, it's the green hat. Wow, button number one has turned the truck wash into an elf machine. Who's going in first? Brave young Florence drives in first, looking like herself. A respray and a brand new hat. Ah, 
Ha <laughs> ha, she's now an elf. In go Sid and Dylan now they've seen just what to do. The elf machine dresses them up to join the Christmas crew. And last it's the mechanicals. Into the machine. And out come four more Christmas elves. Tiny, cute and green. Now we have our Christmas elves. I think it must be time to press button number two. Can you find button number two? That's right. It's the golden hammer and paintbrush. Amazing! Button 2 has turned the elf machine into a toy making workshop. Florence and Sid can fetch the different pieces to turn into toys. Mechanicals. You can go inside and get the tools ready. And Dylan. You can collect the finished toys. Let's get making. We'll start with something easy. Some simple wooden blocks. We'll cut and sand and paint them. And put them in a box. And now for something trickier. But with a little luck. Yes! They've made a tiny toy Fiona fire truck. Let's build another wooden truck to go in Santa's sacks. With four big wheels, some orange paint, a mini Monster Max. Those mechs have got the hang of this. They are impressing us. Look, they've made a perfect little bobby, the purple bus. And now it's time to make a delicious Christmas treat. All wrapped up in shiny foil. Some chocolate coins to eat. Just one more and then I think these presents will be ready. Just sew this up and add some stuffing. Look, a gecko teddy! The mechanicals have worked so hard, we really should be clapping. But I've just noticed something. These presents all need wrapping. Wrapping all these presents by hand would take far too long. I think it must be time to press the last button on the controller. Button number three. Can you find button number three? That's right. It's the scissors and tape. Fantastic! Button 3 has turned the toy workshop into a wrapping machine. This will wrap the presents in no time. Let's get wrapping. The gifts go back through the machine for paper, ribbon and tape. Can you guess what each one is? Just by its size and shape. A box of blocks, a toy Fiona, a mini Max, a little Bobby, chocolate coins, a gecko Teddy, and hmm, I don't know what that last one is. Never mind. Now they're all loaded into the sleigh, it's time for Santa to get on with his Christmas deliveries. Ho, ho! How did you get up here, Yellow Mechanical? You'd better get down to the garage and take this gift for Gecko with you.
thanks to Florence, Dylan, Sid, and the Mechanicals for all their help today. And thank you for joining us here at the garage. And... Oh! There you are, Yellow Mechanical. I was wondering where you'd gone. Oh, thank you for the present from Santa. Warm, cosy earmuffs. Fantastic! Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone! The Mechanicals are helping me wrap up Christmas gifts for all of my friends. There's lots of presents here. Here comes Larry the Lorry. He's delivering a very special Christmas vehicle that's coming in for repairs today. Hello, Larry. Great to see you. Could you drop off your delivery inside the garage, please, so that we can take a good look at it? It's Santa's sleigh! Santa uses this to deliver Christmas presents to all of the good girls and boys of the world. He's also sent me this letter. Dear Gecko, it's nearly Christmas Eve, my busiest night of the year. But my trusty sleigh is old and slow and broken. Please could you fix her up and make her faster. Then deliver her back to me in time for Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, Santa. Santa's sleigh is old, it's true. But we can make her better than new. Adjust that runner. Fix this part. A full respray. That's a great start. Now she's repaired and looking slicker. But what to do to make her quicker? This jet engine's the boost she needs to give her supersonic speeds. To test her out is our next goal. But the reindeer are back at the North Pole. We need somebody who can fly to guide the sleigh into the sky. This sounds like a job for Super Mechanical! Fly, Super Mechanical! Fly! So far, so good. Now we need to test this new jet engine. Hold on, everybody! Three. Two, one, go! Wow! <laughs> Let's deliver all these presents to our truck friends and then get the sleigh back to Santa. A new trailer for Trevor the tractor. Some spare windscreen wipers for Andy the animal ambulance. New maps for Tony the Taxi. And a new horn for Bobby the Bus. Look out below! Presents for everyone at the construction site. Some new jumps and tricks for Max and his monster truck friends. A radio for Florence at the spare parts store. And something for all our other truck friends. Fantastic! That's all of our presents delivered and the jet engine works a treat. With our upgrades, Santa and his reindeer will be able to deliver Christmas presents to all the world's children in record time. OK, Super Mechanical, next stop, the North Pole! Yippee! Thanks for joining us today. Merry Christmas to you all. We'll see you again soon. Bye!
Hello everyone. Dr. Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone. It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia. Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. <laughs> Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise. Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking Florence, they must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games. Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of pass the parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get found them! Phew! Come on Florence, let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for. Shh everybody, here he comes! Three, two, one, surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a lovely surprise! Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. 
What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course! <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko! Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye. Bye! Hello everyone. We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey! That's my toolbox! Rick! We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello Vicky! Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. 
Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie is just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy! The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone. It's the day of the Truck Cup final. I hope you're all as excited as we are. It's a five-a-side match between the construction trucks and the regular trucks. And I'm the referee. The construction trucks are going to play in yellow. So they're already the right colour. But the other trucks are all different colours. So for today's game, they are all getting painted blue. Everyone looks great, but there's something missing. I know, football players usually have a number on their shirt. Let's use even numbers for the yellow team and odd numbers for the blue team. I wonder if Maisie and Sid have finished getting the pitch ready. Wow, the pitch looks fantastic. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. I've got the football, and here come the teams. Is everyone ready to begin? Three, two, one. The yellow team has the ball. Danny passes it to Rick. Oh no. Rick's flattened the ball. I hope the Mechanicals can pump it back up again. Well done, Mechanicals. That's a yellow card for Rick. The blue team get the ball. Max has the ball. He's nearly at the yellow team's goal. Oh, no. They have George as their goalkeeper. He's enormous. He fills up the goal. Can Max get past George? Yes! He's done it! Max scores a goal! 1 0 to the blue team! Trevor's got the ball! He's slow and steady, but. Oh no! Ryan has taken the ball! Look at him go! Brilliant dribbling! It's like the ball is glued to his tracks! Hang on a moment! He's attached the ball to his chain! That's not fair! That's a yellow card for Ryan! The blue team get the ball again. Rebecca's got the ball. She passes to Fiona. Hey, Fiona's using her flashing lights to get the yellow team to move out of the way. That's not allowed. Yellow card for Fiona. The yellow team get the ball. It's Danny on the ball now. He passes it to Florence. It's all down to Florence now. Can she score for the yellows? She weaves past Fiona. She weaves past Max. Vicky's in goal. But she can't stop Florence. It's a goal for the yellow team. That's one goal each. And that's the final whistle. Both teams have scored a goal, so it's a draw. What a fantastic...
fantastic game. It was a draw, so everyone's a winner. They can all share the trophy. Should we keep it at the garage? Everyone looks so happy. Well, almost everyone. Maisie and Sid don't look very happy. Ah, uh, I think they've seen what a mess the grass is in after all that driving around. Sorry. Don't worry, Maisie and Sid. The grass will soon grow back. Thanks for joining us for the Truck Cup final today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you again soon.